Hello, everybody, and welcome to All-Star Race Weekend here in Season 4 NASCAR Walmart Cup Series live from the Charlotte Motor Speedway in good old Charlotte, North Carolina. Woo! I am Levi McIntyre, a.k.a. Thrash Maniac 99, the voice of NASCAR Walmart Cup Series, here to welcome you to the first portion of All-Star Race Weekend. We are going 17 laps with 18 cars in the All-Star Open. And joining me on co-commentary for All-Star Weekend is none other than David Rivera. How are you doing? Doing good. Awesome. So the drivers we have in this field, <coughs> we have Danny Wells, who is on the pole, with Joshua Balkin in second. So those would be the drivers who would transfer over to the All-Star Race if the race were over now. But you also got drivers like Dorian Face Puncher, Anthony McCurry, Matt McIntyre, Justin Nichols, Charles Jackson, Dylan Thoreau, Kyle Singer, Chris Thomas, Mitchell Riggs, Biggie Spencer, James McLeod, Kyle Matthews, Jesse King, Dylan Young, Trent Dunham, and Preston Plord. So interesting mix of veteran and rookies in the open. And remember, whoever finishes first and second will automatically head over into the All-Star Race coming up next. But anyways, without further ado... Let's get this show on the road as they begin the half pace lap. <clears throat> so, David, who are some guys you would look out for to get a first and second finish here in this Open? Right now, I am looking at the 61 car, the 23, and as well the monster car at the moment right now are my picks for the moment. I say I could look for Anthony McCurry and Dylan Thoreau in the 17. Those will be a couple of guys to look out for, but... Danny Wells, who is a legend in the community, he could pull away with something big here. But, here we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing for 17 laps, boys and girls. Alright, let's do this. As we've got the Fox Sports 1 ticker going. And look at this beautiful camera angle coming off the turf. Nice. And it looks like we got a new driver in second place, and that's Dorian Face Puncher in the 15 car. He wants to try to pick up a win. In fact, he's got some momentum right now. The last two races yeah. at Lime Rock and Spartan, he's finished in the top five. He wants to try to show to NASCAR One More Cup Series management that he does belong in this series. And whoa, McCurry and Balkan both go up and get into the wall. But they keep it together and then bow for the lead as face punchers coming underneath of Danny Wells. <laughs> but just remember, this is only a 17 lap event, which means plenty of time for other drivers who, who are running in the back, like Preston Board, they could potentially make their way up through the field. In fact, Trent Dunham, who started around the last row, he's already moved up about five spots on the track. Meanwhile, we got a new second place driver, rookie Justin Nichols. So we got both first and second being rookies, but here comes Matt McIntyre in the 31 to try to get that spot for himself. Yeah, it's going well so far. A lot of good speed for most of the cars, so it looks like we're going to see a lot of change-ups going on. And now here comes another rookie, Chris Thomas in the 14 car. He's trying to go in for that second spot, and also behind him, Another rookie, Mitchell Riggs, in the 78. Now, that has been an impressive rookie so far this season because he started off the season very poor. And in the last, I would say, six races, he has been showing some promise. Four top fives, five top ten so far this season. Meanwhile, battle for the lead. Here comes Matt McIntyre underneath the 15 of Dorian Face Puncher, and Chris Thomas is going to follow suit as it is going to be 12 laps to go here in the open. Matt McIntyre gets the spot, and now Chris Thomas is coming underneath for second. 
Dorian Face Puncher is actually going to lose a few spots. It looked like he got the wall a little bit. Now he loses third to Mitchell Riggs, and now about to lose fourth to Danny Wells. But then again, things can change in an instant. And speaking of change, Trent Dunham, he's already moved up to the 10th spot after starting around the 17th, 18th spots. And as I saw Dylan Thoreau, he got the wall up there, and it was three wide for a split second. Yeah, that seems to be a little problem, too. Indeed. We got a new leader up in front, and that's Chris Thomas, and a new second-place driver, Mitchell Riggs, at the moment. But Danny Wells starting to make a comeback to get back up to the lead, or at least in the top two. And whoa, Matt McIntyre got the wall, and he about wrecked. Dorian face puncher, and that's going to cost them both dearly. Because I also see Baldwin coming through, and I see Charles Jackson starting to get through the field, and Trent Dunham along with James McLeod coming in hot. Right now, these are the two drivers who would transfer over, Chris Thomas and Mitchell Riggs, but here comes Mitchell Riggs for the lead. As it's almost eight to go here in the All-Star Open. And as that battle's going on, Chris Thomas' teammate, Danny Wells, is coming in behind. He wants to try to potentially make this first and second Stuart Haas racing cars to get into the all-star race. Chris Thomas still hanging in strong up on the high line, and he's going to stay clear of Mitchell Riggs, it looks like. But meanwhile, I see Justin Nichols, but here comes Joshua Balkin, Dorian Facebuncher, and Matt McIntyre trying to come back up through the field as it's now seven laps to go here in the open. Yeah, so far everything's looking really good. I'm sure we might have some of those pit stops too as well going in. Well, I don't yeah. think, well, they won't be pitting during this race, but the all-star race, they may have to at least once. So we'll see what happens when we come down to that race. Right now it's single file from first through fifth as it's double wide a couple rows back. <clears throat> and right now it would still be Chris Thomas and Mitchell Riggs, but Danny Wells is running in right behind Mitchell Riggs, and now Riggs is coming in back underneath for the lead again. But Thomas has been able to hold that high line strong. Yeah, that's really good. So let's see what happens this time. 14 still hanging in there. 78 is coming in pretty good here. Joshua Balkin starting to make his way in through the picture, and it's now less than five laps to go. And whoa, Chris Thomas got the wall, and now that handed the lead directly over to Mitchell Riggs. And Danny Wells would now be in second now. So Joshua Balkin come through, and now Wells is going to come underneath for the lead, as it's now going to be four laps to go here in the All-Star Open. No, and that's really awesome, too, and despite that little wall pop, This is really good. Indeed. Now we got a new driver in second place, Joshua Balkin, and look who else is coming back. Dorian Face oh, yeah. He's trying to get back up into the second spot potentially, but he's going to have a few laps to do it. Three to go here in the open. So we're st these drivers are starting to run out of time to get up to that. Uh, one of those two spots, and Mitchell Riggs, Chris Thomas both get the outside wall that time. That definitely helped Dorian face puncher out a little bit. But here comes Justin Nichols in the 23. But who knows what's going to happen. Two to go here in the open, and right now it's Danny Wells, Joshua Balkin, the transfer drivers, and now we got a battle for seconds. Dorian face puncher. He's trying to make a return back up in that spot, but he doesn't quite get him that time. He's going to have six more, about five more turns to do it. <coughs> but here we go. White flag is coming out here in the All-Star Open. Danny Wells is the leader. Joshua Balkin second, but can Dorian face puncher maybe shock the 16? And we're just about way home, which is really good. 
Well, Dorian's right behind him, and here he comes down low. Oh, yeah, this is his goes. last chance. Oh, oh it's yeah. going to be close. Whoa. And he doesn't get it. But coming to the checkered flag, Danny Wells wins the All-Star Open, and Joshua Balkin, the rookie out of Roush Fenway, finishes second, and that means both Wells and Balkin make it to the All-Star race. Nice racing tonight. Wow. What a race. No cautions or anything during this one. Yeah, though, clean, when we get to the, though when we get to the All-Star race, that can be a whole different story. Yeah, no doubt. But let's take a look at how the results came about here for the Open. Danny Wells started on the pole, free falls back a little bit, but came back at the end. And he comes away with a victory here in the All-Star Open, and he will race in the All-Star race coming up next. Same with Joshua Balkin in second. Great job for the 16 team. Dorian Face Puncher tried at the end to get by Balkin, but just didn't have enough time and couldn't really make the right move. But he should be still happy with his third place finish in the All-Star Open. Justin Nichols, solid fourth. And Mitchell Riggs gets a good finish of fifth. And the rest of the top ten, six being Trent Dunham. Chris Thomas, for a bit, looked like he was going to be in the clear to make it in, but he got the wall, and that ended up costing him the race. Matt McIntyre in eighth, James McLeod ninth, and tenth was Kyle Matthews. And the rest of the cars that finished were Biggie Spencer, Charles Jackson, Preston Blord, Jesse King, Kyle Singer, Dylan Young, Dylan Thoreau, and Anthony McCrory. So that does it for our coverage for now of the All-Star Open. Coming up next is the All-Star Race, and we'll be right back after a quick break. Welcome back. We are back here for All-Star Race Weekend, and this time we are going All-Star Racing for real this time. 26 drivers here in All-Star Racing this season. And this one should be good. And also, David Rivera is back at it with me here for this race. And remember, whoever wins the All-Star race will get a guaranteed ride for season number five. So pretty much any non-points race we run, whether it's the Bud Shootout or the All-Star race, the winner does get a guaranteed spot for ride in season five. And so far with the Bud Shootout, though I don't recall who won that race, at least for the time being. <clears throat> but whoever wins this race, not only will be locked into the All-Star race for another 10 seasons, but they will also get a guaranteed ride for season number 5. But as we look at the drivers who are in this field, on the pole is Jessica Shelton, and then you got P.J. Williams, Brandon Nichols, Zachary Fitzwater, David Rivera, the All-Star Open winner Danny Wells qualified 6th, Joshua Michaels, Henrietta Fitzwater, Chase Oliver, Chris Singer, Chris Washer, Rue McIntyre, Austin Weiner, our last season's champion and last season's all-star race winner. Uh, yeah, Sonny Hammond, our most recent race winner. He locked himself into this race by winning that race last week. Then you got Jekko Knight, Seth Cole, Charles Sanford, Michael Norman, uh, Cody Lamas, Ken Thoreau, our points leader and two-time race winner so far this season, Jesse Setti, Ian Dutta, Kendall Maynard, Gabe Williams, Joshua Balkin, the second-place finisher in the open race, and Eric Enrage. So that is how the lineup looks. Let's go ahead and get this party started in here. So, David, now that we're in a different type of race where it's really the winner that gets something, who do you see as a pick to potentially win this All-Star race? As of right now, I am looking at that 82 pull. That would be my pick. So, Joshua Michaels. I'm probably going to go with the 12 car of Brandon Nichols because we'll see how he does here. But here we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing for 34 laps this time, boys and girls. Nice. Yeah, it's genius. And also for this race, we will see the potential 
of a pit stop that could happen during this during the course of this race. So we could see that at the end, we could see it near the middle of the race, we could see it even in the beginning. We'll see what happens, but it looks like Jessica Sheldon does lead lap number one here in the All-Star race. But with this race, it's gonna with more cars, it's gonna probably be a lot more aggressive. And already I can see a little bit of that because PJ Williams just scraped the wall, driving too hard off, off the higher grooves. But yeah, with the more cars you got in the field and the more aggression these guys are going to show, we could see some pretty big wrecks potentially. So far, Jessica Sheldon doing very good so far in this All-Star race. And already, Danny Wells is already trying to get up through the field. He's already up to fourth. And he was the All-Star Open winner earlier. Battle for second potentially going to brew. Brandon Nichols has it but David Rivera wants it. As we take a look around the back, pretty much double wide, pretty much further on to the back of the field. As Eric and Rage is going underneath of both Michael Norman and Seth Cole over, up, up and over them. Right there is last season's All-Star Race winner. Uh, Austin Weiner and also the last mm -hmm. season champion. Let's see where he scored last time. Tenth, so he's starting to try to move his way up through the field. Another previous All-Star Race winner that is in the field right there in the three car, Michael Norman. Now I don't recall who won the season two All-Star Race. But he, I don't really remember who it was, so there you go. But, oh, a little bit of a dirt dust cloud that must have been from somebody trying to pass through the grass. Gabe Williams has actually fallen off the pace somehow. Uh, Maybe yeah. it was him That's who went through the grass. And, yeah. Oh, man, this is going to get interesting. Three wide for second. Whoa. Usually three wide at Charlotte doesn't really work, but... Yeah, and it kind of right. did, but it kind of didn't. Brandon Nichols did get the wall a little bit, but no wreck. So now David Rivera moves into second. Now he wants to go for the lead over Jessica Shelton. And Rivera's right there to the back bumper of the nine car. And then back here, Danny Wells trying to lurk into the picture as well. New driver in fourth place, and that's Chris Washer. So far this season for a Chris Washer, it's not been the kind of season we've been accustomed to with Chris Washer, where he's usually top ten in the points around this time. So far this season, he's struggled in a new team for Richard Petty Motorsports in that ten car. He's just not really been himself. Maybe this will be a good race for him to change all that. Then again, you never know. And also remember, all, not only will we be running here at Charlotte for All-Star Weekend, but the very next points race we're going to be running is going to be at Charlotte when we run the Coca-Cola 600 at Charlotte coming up next. That'd be fun. Meanwhile, Sheldon still is so far led every lap. David Rivera still trying to get to her, but Danny Wells, he's starting to come up into the picture as well. And Danny Wells, he wants to try to be the first driver in, in Walmart Cup Series history to win the All-Star Open and the All-Star Race at the same in the same day. <clears throat> we saw that in the Bud Shootout. However, I don't remember who won those races earlier in the season back at Daytona, mm -hmm. but we had that kind of scenario happen, but so far, Jessica Sheldon has been the one dominating this race. But let's take a look and see how the field looks at the moment. It is Jessica Sheldon up at the front, second is David Rivera, third is Danny Wells, fourth is P.J. Williams, fifth is Sonny Hammond. Wow, he's moved up quite a lot. He was around, I think he started around mid-pack, and he's already up into the fifth spot. Great job for that 47 team. 
Six is Checo Knight. Seventh is Charles Sanford. Eighth is Austin Weiner. Ninth is his teammate Brandon Nichols. Tenth is Joshua Michaels. Eleventh is Chris Washer. Twelfth is Chris Singer. Thirteenth is Jesse Setti. Fourteenth is Seth Cole. Fifteenth is Henrietta Fitzwater. Sixteenth, Ken Thoreau. Seventeenth, Joshua Balkin. 18th is Ian Dutta, 19th is uh, Kendall Maynard, 20th is Michael Norman, 21st is Cody Lamas, 22nd is Chase Oliver, 23rd Eric Enrage, 24th Zachary Fitzwater, 25th is Rue McIntyre, and 26th is Gabe Williams. Back up the front, Jessica Sheldon continues to hold on to that spot. But remember, we do have the potential of a pit stop at some point, and that could change everything. Yeah, it could happen a couple of times, too. And those are pretty unpredictable. Indeed. I see back there, Sonny Hammond has gotten around for the fourth spot. And already, here they go. They're going into the pits. <clears throat> yep, there they go. This could be the first of maybe two pit stops. P.J. Williams was actually the first one to come in out of everybody, but everybody else is going to follow behind. So we're going to see <coughs> who could get the lead here coming after these pit stops have finished. And they're pitting on the lap 14 and 15 sequence, so it looks like they can go about 13, 14, 15 laps on fuel. So I do see these cars making one more pit stop near b before we get to like five laps to go when we come down to it. And it looks like Jessica Shelton is going to get the spot, so she will be the leader still from now. But David Rivera, he's not going to give up. Well, now he is going to let her go by, but it looks mm -hmm. like it will be Shelton, Rivera, Wells, Hammond, and Seti. That will be the top five, but... DJ Williams, he pitted first, and he's coming in pretty fast. But I don't think he's going to be able to get around for the lead right now, although he might. Here he comes. PJ Williams is coming in pretty fast, although he's going to have to slow up a little bit. But PJ Williams, that might have been smart on PJ Williams' part for coming in the pit early, because now here he is up here in the mix. But now that top three has broken away from the rest of the pack. The cars that are about a second and a half, two seconds back. And whoa, Rivera about got the wall there. And now he's mm. going under attack from P.J. Williams for second. That has yeah, opened up nice. room. Yeah, that has opened mm. up room for Jeff Shelton to pull out to a bigger lead. Yeah, exactly. And an even bigger challenge. But things have been looking really good too, not only for Jessica as well, but for the six car. So things looking really good for the nighttime racing right here in the Queen City. Mm -hmm. So now as we take a look at how the field looks after that first round of pit stops, Jessica Sheldon is your leader, second is PJ Williams, third David Rivera, fourth Danny Wells, fifth Jesse Setti. Six is Sonny Hammond. Seventh is Austin Weiner. Eighth is Brandon Nichols. Ninth is Charles Sanford. Tenth is Chris Singer. Eleventh is Kendall Maynard. Twelfth is Chris Washer. Thirteenth is Seth Cole. Fourteenth, Ken Thoreau. Fifteenth, Henrietta Fitzwater. Sixteenth is Joshua Balkin. Seventeenth, Jekko Knight. Eighteenth, Ian Dutta. Nineteenth, Eric Enrage. Twentieth is Michael Norman. 21st is Cody Lamas, 22nd Chase Oliver, and he's the last car on the lead lap. As the first car a lap down would be Joshua Michaels, then Rue McIntyre, then Gabe Williams, and then Zachary Fitzwater. So four cars are a lap down after those pit stops. But P.J. Williams, he's closing in on Jessica Schell, and so is David Rivera, so that three-way battle for the lead is back at it. Somehow, someway, the 27 and the 6 were able to run very fast laps, faster than the 9. 
And also, David, I have to say, how impressive has it been so far in All-Star Weekend? No cautions, no wrecks, no nothing. Yeah, I know. It seems like it's a really perfect night, just a really amazing start and everything like that. So things are shaping up to be really badass, and it's awesome. I love it. In the meantime, Jessica Shellen pulled ahead a little bit on that move, but remember, still the potential for one more pit stop. And it could be green flag pit stop considering how so far in this race we have not had a caution or a wreck happen. Or at least not yeah. yet. But this is the point of the race when it gets closer and closer to the end of the mm -hmm. race. It's when the thing where drivers start getting a little more a little more aggressive. Yeah, not only that, they get aggressive, excited, and a lot of emotion start going on so things are going to get very interesting towards the end so it's going to be really uh something as well to see back here we got a battle i believe right there for the 11th spot with five cars Kendall uh -huh. Maynard, ken thoreau seth cole joshua balkan henrietta fitzwater but pretty much mostly double file so nothing really to worry about it's so usually when they go three wide in the turns is when everything gets pretty crazy. And whoa, the 43 gets the wall a little bit, but she keeps it together. And now mm -hmm. Seth Cole is going to probably take over that spawn. Whoa, they are coming in hot on the 33 of Gabe Williams. Should be okay, but I don't think it's anything far too much to worry about. Uh, meanwhile, battle with teammates back here for the 20th spot, Jekko Knight and Cody Lamas both going at it and Lamas is going to run that bottom lane as last time by it's t less than 10 laps to go here in the all-star race Jessica Shelton yeah. wow I gotta tell you I have been impressed in this race by the 19 Le yeah, they have so ups. far led every single lap yeah. in this race but then again remember the potential for one more pit stop, and depending on how fast she can get her pit stop done, who knows what can happen. Yeah, hopefully it's not going to be that pit stop before the actual final lap. And also, look who's coming in. She, Jesse Setti is actually starting to catch that battle right. for the lead. She's somehow only a second behind, and she is mm -hmm. coming in fast. Yep, everybody's showing that hunger now. Away, man. P.J. Williams, the first okay. one he pitted last time by. Here he comes into the pits. And I saw Jesse yeah. Sede actually scrape the wall back so there. It looks like just only one car going into the pits as of right now. So far, but I would see the rest of those cars coming in right when they come off of turn number four. Mm -hmm. This could be smart on P.J. Williams again, because remember the last time we had the pit stops, he was the first of them to come in to pit. And he somehow was able to get into the second spot. Right. And there I see Jekko Knight and Jessica Sheldon. So everybody else is coming down. Although those lap machines are going to stay out an extra lap to maybe hopefully get their laps back. But it's highly unlikely. But we're going to stay with PJ Williams here because, like I said, he was running around the seventh spot around the time of those last pit stops. Had a fast enough stop and had a fast enough car to get up to the second spot. Who knows if everything goes well, he could be the new leader, depending on how fast Shelton's stop will be. And there she is right there. And Austin Weiner actually got out second out of this group. Wow, Austin yeah. Weiner had a fast pit crew right there. So it looks like things changed a little bit. But we got to see how PJ will be compared to how Shelton is. Mm -hmm. We'll see whenever they go into turn number four, or turn three, and Shelton is just now coming back on the track. PJ's coming in fast. Wow. We're going to see how it's going to be with those two. And here he comes really, really quickly. He is catching her, and it's four laps to go. Here in the All-Star race itself, 
And here he comes down low. P.J. Williams trying to get the lead, but doesn't quite get there quick enough. But still going to be interesting among those two. And, mm -hmm. and the driver they had scored last time as the leader it was uh, Chris Singer, but they've clearly gone ahead of him. But, yeah, four laps to go this time here in the All-Star Race. And it looks like this race is going to come down to one of these two, Jessica Sheldon or P.J. Williams. Let's see yeah, where... Yeah, Yeah. And while David Rivera must have had a very, very slow pit stop because he's all the way back in 19. Same with Jesse Setti. Both of them lost a lot of time. Three laps to go here in the All-Star Race. As we check out how who's had the fastest lap in the race. Danny Wells had the fastest lap of a 26.627 earlier in the race. But two laps to go here in the All-Star Race for Jessica Shelton and P.J. Williams. P.J.'s going to have to try to run a lower line in the corners if he's going to be able to get by the nine car. Let's actually stay with these cars to see who's been running faster times. And last lap, mm -hmm. P.J. Williams ran a little bit faster. And he's still coming in fast, but here we go. White flag is out for the Jessica Sheldon machine. Lap times this time. Sheldon ran a 27.027. PJ ran a 27.015. So PJ is a little faster, but does he have enough here? Last chance. Mm. Be. And it doesn't um, look like he's going to be able to yeah. get her. Coming to the checkered flag, Jessica Sheldon wins the season four all-star race and is going to be in this race for ten more seasons and awesome. will get a guaranteed ride for season number five of yep. the Mark Cup Series. That's great. I know she's been wanting that too for a while, so I know she's happy. Wow. Amazing. What, an, what an all-star weekend we have had. No doubt. Great night, Charlie. But anyways, let's take a look and see how the results turn, turned around after those pit stops. Jessica Sheldon comes away with the All-Star Race victory. This could be a huge confidence booster for her heading into the Coke 600, which is at the same track coming soon. But great job for Sheldon. P.J. Williams only eight hundredths of a second back. He thought he had some with those faster pit stops and faster times, but... Sheldon just ran a smarter race, but P.J., he should still be happy for himself with that solid finish. Danny Wells, great run for the All-Star Open winner. He comes away with a solid third-place finish. Chris Singer, the highest finishing of the rookies who are in this race. He comes away with fourth, and Austin Weiner comes away with a solid top five. The rest of the top ten was Charles Sanford, Sonny Hammond, Brandon Nichols, Joshua Balkan, and Ken Thoreau. And the rest of the top 20 <coughs> was Kendall Maynard, Henrietta Fitzwater, Cody Lamas, Ian Dutta, Seth Cole, Eric and Rage, Michael Norman, David Rivera, Jesse Setti, and Chris Washer. And the last car to finish on the lead lap was Chase Oliver. Everybody else behind them finished a lap or two down, and they were Joshua Michaels, Henrietta, or Zachary Fitzwater, Gabe Williams, Jekko Knight, and Rue McIntyre. But aside from that, we had a successful all-star race weekend in terms of no wrecks, no cautions, no nothing. Will we see the same thing in the Coke 600? I doubt it, but it'll be interesting to see when we go to that race. But thank you guys for watching all-star race weekend, and thanks to David Rivera for stopping by the booth. And... Uh, no, I'm still here. <laughs> Sorry, I just had some Skype issues. Oh. But yeah, it's been a pleasure as always, man. Alrighty. Well, until we get to the Coke 600, here are your results one last time for the All-Star Race here at Charlotte. And I'm Levi McIntyre, signing off.